So we're looking at the uh, some pathological teeth from great whites. These are recent or contemporary teeth, not fossilized. And you can see split teeth and little wavy patterns in the, the blades. Um, and Gordon, typically a, a pathology can come about, a true pathology for a variety of reasons. Um, Butch was asking about nourishment. And you were mentioning that sometimes it's a stingray getting caught in the teeth as it's developing. Right. Damage, um, injury of some sort. Yeah, and the split portion might be same thing. It could have been something like that initially, cause it to split. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then we move over to the uh, some of these other deformities. Well, there's white sharks in here too. Um, Well, let's start with the whites then. Again, okay. and these are recent. Recent. And these are two teeth that grew together, one in back of the other one. And then there's a curled tip. Oh, I can see a little bit of a hook to the tip of the tooth. Here's one that has a kind of a blister on the on the enamel. And again, I uh, don't know what would cause it. Okay, notched. Where's the notch? The notch is right here in this side. Okay. And then grossly deformed. Yeah, that's just a blob of tooth. <laughs> it's a hard one to figure out. Mm -hmm. And then the normal teeth, of course, should look like this. Also have a tooth with a hole through it where a stingray barb is stuck through it, and I'll show you that. As, okay. But then, uh, We've also got, with tiger sharks, some of the deformities. Let's see if we can see one. There's a little more obvious one. Just doesn't look like a typical tiger. Um, or this with a fossil tiger shark tooth, wherever it disappeared to. There it is. Should only have one of these blades coming down. And see the sand tigers that have a little bit of a twist to them that's not normal or a split tip here for a lemon shark, if I can find it again. There we go, see the split tip on this. Or in the cur case of a curled tip, there's a, there's a curled tip on what looks like a gray shark. But then with the uh, larger megalodon, we've got all kinds of Deformities that are easier to see simply because the teeth are so large. Look at some of these. You could always almost come up with a rap song to <laughs> to describe them. <laughs> you think I'm broke, but I'm really not poor. This one, it just blows my mind. Look at that wavy pattern all the way around that one. And neat, look at that blade. Or this one looks like a animal's paw at the front. Deformity there on the side. And we have true pathologies and false pathologies, and these are all true pathologies that happen while the animal was alive, correct? Mm -hmm. And then a false pathology might be an example of a, a tooth that gets damaged after the shark dies right. or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay.